percent. Let's yeah. talk about it then. Um, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, she was signed to the independent label uh, 15 to 1 before she was signed to Rock Nation. Right. Of course. Um, you guys came. Uh, you was able to like put her, put her in a position where she can afford a lot of the things that she wanted. You was able to give her a uh, um, uh, $10,000 bonus. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Even that, people might look at it on the outside and, you know, already being successful, like $10,000 is nothing. Right. Yeah, $10,000 is nothing to you that got it. Right. right? I want to talk to you about um, just these, these certain deals that people take. I want to talk to you especially about not saying that you, was, you gave her a 360 deal, but let's start there. Yeah, right, let's start. We, we we gave her a 360 deal because we 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 like did some unorthodox stuff in the contract that you normally wouldn't do for us, like the profit splits and stuff like the 40%. that. Forty percent. Yeah, where well, the artist would never see nothing like that. So a lot of stuff like that, and um, we gave away in 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 exchange for the 360 deal. So it's like it was it was like both sides was happy, you know. But um of course when she blew up, they all want to say, "Oh, you looking in to do this, you know, and stuff happens." But when I when I met Megan, she was staying in a one bedroom apartment, you know what I'm saying? Just just getting by, you know, and all of a sudden um I didn't do nothing or whatever the case may be, you know, but you know, you agreed to it because at that point in time, well, no, Rock Nation wasn't right there about to give you this deal. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I was, I, where was they at when it was that time in your life? You know? Yo, what, for the people that don't know, because uh, we hear so much in the media, but I'm pretty sure it's some people out there that don't even know what a 360 deal is. What, what does that mean? It just means it's like you get a percentage of everything that they do. You know what I'm saying? Like for for shows, uh, endorsements, contracts, stuff like that. You know, you just get a percentage of pretty much uh, everything they're involved in. A lot of people don't understand, though, is a gamble, too, because, you know, a lot of people gamble. We talking about, um, shit, we see all type of gambling apps now. We see gambling get being legal in so many different states. And people take these gambles every day. But when it comes to their career, a lot of times when you come from nothing, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? A lot of people don't speak on this. Right, because we it's, it's easy to see it when they make it. But mm -hmm. there's so many people that didn't make it that's like, yo, bro, I will gamble on myself. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like right. I, I don't have shit. Like I can't like you said, mm -hmm. but you met Megan Thee Stallion, she was pretty much humble beginnings. You get what right. I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I'm Real gonna gamble humble. on myself. So it's like a lot of people make fun of these three sixty deals, but yeah. honestly it's a lot of people came from it. Yeah. You feel me, Jay Z we, a lot of our favorite I mean, artists came it's from because it. Because you putting so much money up, you have to get something get your money from back. it. Yeah. Like you have to you know, get the return on your investment. People don't understand that. You want us to just put all this money up behind you because you think you fly, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, what happens if it fails? Now, I wasted all my money. I don't, I lose, you know, but I guess it's okay if you consider a person who has money already. Oh, he got money. It ain't gonna, you know, he ain't gonna miss it. Ain't no big deal. And that's what they say when they actually get it. Oh, man, he got his money already. Why he want to take this in that? It's like, no, what you mean? We signed the deal, a contract. This is how America works. You know what I'm saying? You sign paper. Paper, you have to abide by it. Let's talk about the contract for a second, right? right. Um, I think you had what, uh, five album, uh, four albums, four four album yeah. contract. Yeah. Um, when when things like that happen, right? Right. You first start, everybody's happy. Like, oh my God, it's a blessing. Thank you right. so much. Yeah, we now, are on cloud nine. <laughs> now, right. Uh, Bitter enemy, you know, rival enemies, you know, and it's like for nothing, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, when her mother when her mother passed away. It was it, it let other people just come in and take over and just kind of like steer it things the wrong way you know I ain't gonna lie um, not not talking on like a person that's dead or whatnot but when when her mother was there you know everything was running good mm -hmm. and then when she passed away that's kind of like when things kind of went left for 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 me you know so what I'm saying? Sa yeah. saying that though right right I think that's good like of course we're not speaking no bad because but... I know they get upset they like oh you you how dare you talk about her mother today? I'm not trying to say nothing bad about her mother no, of course. because you know uh, I mean but at the end of the day it is what it is you know when she passed away to me that's when things started to change and I want to. I want to stay there for a second, right? right? I think um, does that make does that make you more empathetic of the situation? Because again, yeah, like when your mom's is there, everything is good. But right. as so many other people, right. fuck the race shit, right? Because well, like yeah, her, when our parents is there, we feel good. When we lose a parent, we see yeah. it with Kanye West. Like, we well, yeah, she was she was going. a real G. She didn't really let like little stuff come around. I just I just think she wants she because her mother was prepping herself to be her manager. Mm. So the guy that was actually ended up managing her. You know what I'm saying? I, I think she, T. Ferris, yeah, I yeah. think she would have like smelled him like, you know what I'm saying, real good. Even though he goes around and tell everybody, oh, she loves me. He told me to watch her. At some point, she was the type of woman I think she would have kind of sniffed out how he was. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, with that being said, you know, uh, he's a, 
guy who took advantage of people's vulnerabilities in their life and he was able to get in and cause all the stuff between me and Megan. You know? mm, does yeah. that, but her losing her moms, right? Because of course the situation is like, you've been dealing with this for three years now. Right. Shit is irritating, shit is fucked up, shit is any type of annoying you want to look at it, right? Mm. But when you look back and you be like, you know what, man, she lost her moms. Um, does that make you more empathetic of the situation? Yeah, because I know things would have been different if her mom was here. You know mm. what I'm saying? All the stuff, all this trouble, all this stuff she getting into. She would. I don't think you guys would have seen none of this stuff happen had her mother still been here. She has a guy that's just right there to just kind of get what he can until you know stuff runs out. And uh, you know you don't care about her getting in trouble and stuff. You know you didn't hear about her getting into no stuff like this when she was with us. You know, so everything is after you know they stopped dealing with fifteen oh one. Yo, how hard is it to um? And this is what we gotta be careful with, right? Um, how hard is it to try to hold her accountable for her actions, being that she's a woman? And I and I say that treading lightly because in today's age it's like we can't as you men, can't, we can't say, nothing. say nothing yeah you know you can't argue with a woman you know they can say what they want to you and then you say something back oh you arguing with a bitch oh you arguing with a female what type you know all that type so you can't say nothing but um at the end of the day you know um I just, I just, you know, I just look at it for what it is. I don't blame her because she didn't know nothing. She was new in the game, just like I was. You know, the people behind her. You know, what I'm saying, I, you know, they got in her head and just made her like this person that you know everybody don't like today. You know mm. what I'm saying? So, that's what it is. Yo, what about this though? And I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna say it. You don't have to say it. Um, right. We can't ignore the fact that Megan Thee Stallion has been in. A few situations now. Right. Right. Um, we see the we see the Tory Lanez thing. Right. Um, we can't take no sides, but we I feel like the we see what the media is saying. Mm -hmm. Right. I feel like um her being in so many situations, it doesn't support her argument with you or, or her track record doesn't support her argument with you. Do you ever lay down at night and be like, Man, what goes around comes around like it was bound to happen? I don't know. I don't know what's bound to happen to her because Megan is a person that we just all seeing and learning and seeing these things and stuff keep happening. All I know is that, you know, you can't keep doing everybody the same way. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep, uh, you know, just, you know, causing... Be, you, if it's like, what, my thing is, wherever it's smoke, is fire. Mm, you know what I'm fact. saying? So... You know, if you just, even if you didn't have nothing to do, you always just kind of tang it up. You always, you something always happening. Like, it's something there. I can't say exactly what it is, but it's something. You know, you, I don't know if it's the PR doing it to make, you know, to sell records at times or what. But to me, it just seemed like, you know, it's just, it's just always something. At a moment of time when y'all was going through the situation, I think it was three years ago, uh, some would say that that could have been a, a promotional tactic to... What's that? A rollout. What's that? The, a rollout? The, oh my God, they, well, they, I, they, I, they, I, they not let me get yeah, on my contract. Yeah, I honestly feel like they tactics is to like beef with some dude right before the project's about to come off. You know this, you know, it's always uh, something. And right after that, a project come I got to the point where I'm like, oh, they, they talking, they cranking it up with me again. It must be a project about to come out or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But um definitely the first time i don't know for sure you know we did stop the music but it was because you know um whenever people see her music get stopped it's because we trying to like remind them that it's the obligation going on that she still hasn't attended to you know and uh that's why you see certain things happen but um you know the first time i don't know i was surprised to see when she came out and said all that stuff the first time mm -hmm. you know and then i'm i'm looking at the video and i'm just seeing all these lies in it and I'm just like damn you know what I'm saying because like people don't people don't even like care to see if it's true or not it's just because she's the biggest star it's it's supposed to be true it's crazy you know what I'm saying so it's like um I just I just got a real um sense of how people really act to stuff when um you know like somebody who they think is famous says something yeah would you say so I mean again I mean, it is what it is, bro. Yeah. Like the, the 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 shit is written down. It's on social media. It is what it is. Would you say Megan Thee Stallion is misunderstood, or is just she's a liar? Like, I mean, I'm just asking real shit. Well, in my case, she's a liar. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, all the stuff they said about me, bro. I didn't even. I could tell you, like, up to the point where she. Hun, we supposed to split up and had a problem. The crazy part is I never knew we had a problem. Mm. That's the problem. You see, that's how 
how much of a, of a, a sneak attack it was to me. All the way up to, you know, the, we supposed to split weight. I never knew we had a problem. You know, I've, got, I've never told Megan no, ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything was just, 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 whatever, Megan. You got to be careful that, you know nah, what they say. Bad, when when man, niggas man. scratch what their head, they lying. Mean, what <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. This is, this is public <laughs> record. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I never told her no for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I was just, like, shocked just as anybody else about it. Like, damn, you know. Yo, being an owner of uh, 1501, man, how how frustrating is it? Because like you said, right. a lot of times, and I think I heard you say this before, a lot of times there'd be situations going on that, that probably hasn't even gotten to you, that you don't even know. And like then what? Get, like, for example, the Megan Thee Stallion situation, I think she had put something publicly out there, and like, yeah, I didn't even know this. Yeah, oh, you mean like when she went viral? Yeah. I mean, when she went live and started saying, yeah, I'm seeing it, I'm just like, yo, they like, yo, she blasting you on the, on the thing, she talking about uh, 1501, and all. I'm like, damn. You know, yeah, because we stopped the music for the first time. That's the only thing you care about is the music and the internet. You know what I'm saying? What made you stop the music? Because, you know, we, we in a legal we in a legal situation. And that know? moment, th well, three years ago, it yeah, was... Yeah, and they were just ignoring all our letters that we're okay. writing back to them. They was just not knowing it. We trying to get this stuff settled. You know what I'm saying? But she's, like, listening to her people or whatever, and they just not knowing it. So, of course, we have to do something to, get you to, to, like, try to get you to, like, work with us, but... You know, you don't, you don't, you don't hear that. You don't hear nothing until that music is stopped. Then right. it's, oh, they stopping my music. You the worst person like, in the world. Yeah. Oh my God, how could but you? man, we got this contract. We trying to c c finish up so we can get done over here. So we can like, so I can move on with my life. And uh, you know, you acting like it is not over there. You know, and I know, you know, it's her team or whatever because she clearly don't know shit about that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So um, we just, um, you know, it is what it is. So. Playing devil's advocate again. Right. Every time we hear in Rock Nation, we hear positive things. We hear what Jay Z doing with the uh, reform thing. Right. We hear uh, how they giving people their masters back. We hear how uh, even a title situation with that's making more money than fucking the iTunes and YouTube and shit like that. Right. Given that situation, do you are you can you really get upset with them or are you like more empathetic with them as well? Because if a woman came to you, right, right. and I think again, just playing devil advocate, if a woman came to you and they and they pose a problem, I feel like, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, as a man, what we're going to do is try to take fix care the problem of right. yeah, and take care you. of the woman. Right. So, like, is there any animosity between you and Rock Nation? Like, do you the feel like The thing is with you? me with that, right? Okay, yeah, you're right about that. But at the end of the day, when you done dug in, you did show who right and what, and you see what's going on, that's your obligation. Don't shut it down, bro. Okay. But they don't like to take no type of losses. You know what I'm saying? No type of public losses. That's why you said everything is always positive. That's not, that's by design. You know what I'm mm. saying? So it's like they don't like to take nothing. So in this case, you know, the big bad guy who was supposed to did all this bad stuff, um, you kind of found out that I'm not the person who you are and you know what I'm saying? It's time to like just say what happened so we can move on. But it's like they won't let go of that. We in court about some some shit that, you know what I'm saying? They already know is mine, you know? And it's just like we just going to drag it along just to drag this guy through the mud. They've been like just making everything as difficult for me as possible. So uh, I just go through it because I've, I've come from a tough upbringing. Like what they don't understand is that I've – where I come from is like, you know, so you just making me – Tap back into those, you know, ways. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just going through it because that's all it is. I understand. Yeah, y'all got the big powers, the money, and you can drag me as long as you want. So what can I do other than just take it until y'all done? But mm -hmm. what I like, <laughs> I mean, honestly, what I like it yeah. is, I like it's like nigga, like y'all got the money, but I got the money too, nigga. Like, I mean, you know, what I'm saying, I, I just like, I don't never like say all that stuff because it's just like, man. It's like, why are we even going through this, bro? Y'all know this thing, they can they can do something and make a call or whatever. This can be over with tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? It really don't have to be like going on like it is right now. It's just all about trying to like drag me through whatever it is they trying to do. So know? let me ask you this. So y'all got the, all right. So y'all got this in writing. They're not answering your calls. So you stop the music because they're not paying you no attention. Like y'all not, I need y'all to listen to what the fuck I'm saying. Right. But if you got it in writing, right? Why stop the music? Because if you got four, if you got four albums in writing, once you drop that next album, I'm recouping that bread from it. Or yeah, how does it's that work? Just, it's just it's that that's all the same. We still do that. They still drop the one. Either way it goes, we like you said, when a judge when a judge allowed the music to go, all that stuff you just said still happens. You know what I'm saying? We stop the music. 
Um, so why stop it if you still gonna get the money anyway? <laughs> well, we stop it because we know that's the only thing that kind of would get their attention. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's the only thing they well, go. And I guess I'm sorry. I'm and we trying to like get this out the way, you know, so we can just do business. Nobody wants to keep going to court, paying these lawyers. Every that's the lawyer game. They the one winning. You know what I'm saying? So it's like just imagine just going to court every month. You know what I'm saying? Just running up a bill. You know. I'm trying to understand because excuse me if I don't. I'm just I'm really trying to understand before the lawyers are involved, right? Right. I'm assuming are you trying to get their attention? You trying to talk to her? They not talking to you? So like no. This, a, this 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 was. When you say before the lawyers involved, yeah, yeah, so we didn't have, a, we never had a talk before the lawyers was involved. You know, they they just straight went to the lawyers with me. Okay, so they wasn't trying to pay no. you from the albums that was no. going to be dropped, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, so I guess no, no, not even that, not even that. It's the ancillary side. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they didn't want to pay me for none of the shows. Like, like for instance, I haven't, okay. got, I haven't got paid. I saw for, like 30%. I haven't got paid for one show. Since 2019. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? This girl doing three, four hundred thousand a show, bro, for two, three years. And I think he was doing what, thirty percent of that, right? Yeah, or, you know what I'm saying? I think so. As soon as she got with Rock Nation, they stopped paying me. You know what I'm saying? They just shut everything down. Okay. Like okay. everything. So you you gotta think of all the endorsements she done got, all the all the stuff, oh you know what I'm saying? Like they just they just said, Nah, we ain't paying you. Fuck that. And they saying, you know what I'm saying? I think and they, their their stance is that it's an unfair contract yeah that's an unfair contract but i mean when i'm you know? confused because like if any other time when it got when it's dealing with us right. black people when i say us when something isn't writing isn't yeah. writing yeah so i'm thinking if they got lawyers involved shit you want to up a hand because it's in writing yeah you know but they we can't get to the court date you know what I'm saying? okay that <laughs> we're makes trying sense. to get to the court All date right. that makes you know sense. what i'm that talking about sense. we can't sense. get we've been but they've been avoiding this shit for three years 